were pushed or pulled hundreds of miles across the sand. Some people thought the bricks were dragged by camels. Some thought they were dragged by people over rolling logs. Some even thought that the bricks were carried there by aliens. In 2014, scientists, historians, and archaeologists worked together to show that the bricks were probably pulled by people who poured water on the sand in front of each brick. By wetting down the sand, the bricks could slide easily and be dragged with the ropes. The pyramids are tombs for Egyptian rulers. We know about these rulers from the objects, writings, and carvings found near the mummies. The ruler of Egypt was called a pharaoh. A pharaoh was honored with the golden statues like this one. This is the Great Sphinx. The Great Sphinx it was carved it from a single piece of limestone. Sphinxes were, were famous for telling riddles to protect the special places. When a pharaoh died, the body was wrapped, uh, wrapped in cloth to keep it safe and then placed deep inside the pyramid. These canopic jars were needed to make mummies. The organs were taken out and put in the jars before the body was wrapped in cloth. The most famous Egyptian mummy is King Tut. King Tut's tomb was opened in 1923. E each Egyptian mummy was surrounded by statues of Egyptian gods. This is Anubis, the god of the dead. This, this is Bastet, the cat goddess. Like most cats, Bastet could be strong and fierce, or sweet and kind. This is Horus, the god of the sky, the sun, and the house of the pharaoh. Horus protected the rulers of Egypt. Sometimes the mummy was surrounded by animals and objects to use in the afterlife. This is a mummy of a ram. This is a chariot that could be pulled by horses. It was found in a tomb. We are learning new things about ancient Egypt every year. It is good to understand history. Gary, take quiz. You can go ahead and mute, Ms. Bautista. It's your turn to present your awards. Let's go to the first award. So my first award goes to Elijah Rodriguez for a remarkable reader. Um, Elijah timid reading, but he doesn't stop. He still participates in all of our reading activities, and he is still excelling at reading and going above and beyond. So great job, Elijah. Good job, Elijah. My
regular basis, upload those pictures from her student book and um, the progress I have seen from her throughout this year, where she started, where she, where she is now, just really proves how much work she has put in this year, and I'm very, very, very proud of her. Wonderful to hear. Great job, Alita.